Welcome to the CUNA News Weekly Wrap-Up for September 25th through 29th. It's Rockstar Week here at CUNA News. Meet our 11th annual class of credit union rock stars, which includes 25 innovative credit union professionals from across the movement. We'll dig deeper into three rock stars today. Frankenmuth Credit Union Director of Marketing, Anita Stefanovsky, Black Hills Federal Credit Union Vice President of Innovation, Steve Pierce, and True Stone Financial Credit Union Vice President of Enterprise Applications, Jill Schaffler. Meet another rock star, Ukrainian Self-Reliance Federal Credit Union Senior Vice President, Anatoly Murha, on the latest episode of the CUNA News Podcast. We'll also meet our Credit Union of the Week and look at what to expect in the month ahead. So let's meet the rock stars. First, what is the Rockstar program? Each year we get nominations from across the credit union movement, with people nominating unique, innovative, creative credit union professionals who excel and make our movement a better place. There were 200 nominations that fit that criteria this year. We narrowed it down to 25 credit union rock stars, who can all be found at news.cuna.org slash rockstar. Let's highlight a couple. Anita Stefanovsky finds the beauty in digital marketing. As the Director of Marketing at Frankenmuth Credit Union, she's able to creatively explore those channels every day. In eight years at the $1.2 billion asset credit union in Michigan, she's designed and built a new website, mobile app, and a chatbot named Carl. Each design is intended to make members' financial lives easier, more engaging, and more fun. Marketing only works if it's memorable, Stefanovsky says. Nobody remembers the average, the boring, the medium, or the norm. I approach everything with that in mind because my design is marketing. Steve Pierce was a digital services team of one when he joined Black Hills Federal Credit Union in 2007 as a programmer analyst. Now he's the vice president of innovation at the $2.1 billion asset credit union in Rapid City, South Dakota. I drive transformation initiatives and I champion the role of innovation by aligning our overall business strategy with innovative thinking, says Pierce who has built the credit union's digital banking platforms, including website and mobile app. Known to be obsessed with members' digital journeys, Pierce's early AI cross-sell data model allowed the credit union to promote real-time, next-best products and services personalized to every member. I enjoy meeting a member who learns how I serve the cooperative and is quick to share how we make their life easy through convenient, do-it-yourself banking services, he says. I use the opportunity to remind them that they're the owner and inquire how we can make our services even better. Some of our best ideas come from members. Jill Schaffler oversees technology at $4.8 billion asset True Stone Financial Credit Union in Plymouth, Minnesota. She's been in the movement since graduating college, starting as a computer operator at Firefly Credit Union and rising to the vice president of enterprise operations at True Stone, which merged with Firefly in 2021. In the nine months surrounding the merger, Schaffler selected solutions that allowed the credit unions to merge and deploy a common technology for more than 190,000 members and 650 employees. Today, she leads the credit union's digital channel working group and develops initiatives that elevate the member experience. My role continues to evolve, keeping up on ever-changing industry technologies, she says, believing a culture of innovation boosts motivation. Visit news.cuna.org slash rockstar to read more about Stefanovsky, Pierce, and Schaffler, and to meet the rest of our 2023 rockstars. Several of them will also be featured on the CUNA News podcast, starting with Anatoly Mura, the Senior Vice President of Ukrainian Self-Reliance Federal Credit Union and Chair of the Ukrainian American Credit Union Association, joined the podcast to discuss his career, the credit union's response to the Russian invasion, and advocating during war. Here's a clip from the podcast, which can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. We knew that our members wanted to help their family and their friends in Ukraine, and then eventually those that made their way to Poland, because there was a lot of Ukrainians that went across the border, obviously, to Poland, and Poland has been wonderful. What we did is we waived all of our wire fees to Ukraine and Poland so that if somebody wanted to send money to one of their relatives, they were able to do that so that they can find whatever they can to buy because they didn't have necessarily access or easy access to cash. And really at that point, cash was king. 
Now, over to CUNY's Senior Editor of Public Affairs Communications, Alex McVeigh, for a look at what's happening in Washington, D.C. The Senate Banking Committee passed the Safer Banking Act this week, legislation to provide a safe harbor for credit unions serving legal cannabis-based businesses. This updated version of the Safe Banking Act was introduced last week by a bipartisan group of senators, including Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The earlier version of this bill passed the House seven times, and we hope this one continues to move forward in the Senate during this Congress. In merger news, credit union CEOs have been sent an email survey to help shape the proposed America's credit unions. The survey seeks expectations on timeline, areas to focus on, communication preferences, and more. Check out the other news from this week, including the latest on federal government funding, at news.cuna.org. Thanks, Alex. Our Credit Union of the Week is Shore to Shore Community Federal Credit Union. The $85.6 million asset credit union in Trenton, Michigan, dates back to February 9, 1953, when Trenton Chrysler Employees Federal Credit Union received their approval of organization certificate to serve primarily three Chrysler plants. In 1960, the name changed to Trenton Federal Credit Union to reflect growing membership. In 1980, the credit union changed to a community charter and the membership continued to expand. And in 2010, the credit union's name became Shore to Shore Community Federal Credit Union to reflect that membership is open to anyone who lives, works, or worships in 15 downriver communities. Learn more at www.shoretoshorecu.com. Looking ahead to October, we'll continue rolling out the rock stars as we focus on innovation. CUNA News staff will be at the CUNA Council's Tech OME Council Conference in Colorado from October 4th through 7th. And we'll also celebrate International Credit Union Day on October 19th. That's it for this week's wrap up. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. To stay up to date on these stories and more, subscribe to Credit Union Magazine, visit news.cuna.org, and listen to the CUNA News Podcast at news.cuna.org slash podcasts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the description for links to everything discussed in this video.